The scientists say that it is unlikely that the novel coronavirus is striking twice. However, there has been reports of the reinfection with this COVID-19 disease. So let's find out what is the fact behind this. Keep watching. To date, there has been more than 30,000 deaths from the novel coronavirus infection globally. World Health Organization has mentioned that most patients infected with the novel coronavirus have mild disease and recover without complications. Now, according to the law of the virology, the body's first line of the defense against an infectious virus is an antibody called immunoglobulin M, whose job is to stay vigilant in the body and alert the rest of the immune system to introduce like the viruses and the bacteria. Days to an infection, the immune system refines this antibody into a second type called immunoglobulin G, exquisitely designed to recognize and neutralize a specific virus. Therefore, the scientists say that when novel coronavirus enters the body of a person who once was infected, these refined antibodies neutralize the viruses and prevent the reinfection. However, there have been reports of the reinfection defying the law of the virology. According to the hospital and quarantine centers in the Yuhan, up to 10% of the coronavirus patients seems to have been reinfected. Such cases of the reinfection have been reported in other provinces of China too. In Guangdong, 14% of the recovered patients were retested to be positive with novel coronavirus. According to the Florida Kramer, the good news is that still even if people become reinfected, the second bout with the coronavirus would likely to be much milder than the first. The reason behind this is you probably would make a good immune response before you have become symptomatic again and might really blunt the course of the disease. These numerous potential cases of the reinfection have left the scientists perplexed. In this regard, scientists have come up with some explanations of the reinfections. The nucleic acid tests that are used to identify the novel coronavirus infection might not be reliable in detecting the traces of the virus in some of the recovered patients. Other is problem in the immune system of the reinfected person so that they haven't produced appropriate antibodies to fight with the second infection. Therefore, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention has stated that the immune response to the COVID-19 is not yet understood. Patients with the MERS coronavirus infection are unlikely to be reinfected shortly after they recover, but it is not yet known whether similar immune protection would be observed for patients with the COVID-19. While further studies are needed to understand whether it is possible for an individual to be reinfected with new coronavirus, experts recommend that those who have been infected follow the hygiene steps outlined by the CDC and also warns against the blind confidence in a screening test and underlines the importance of monitoring patients who appears to be cured. That's the end of the video. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button to get notified every time I post a video.